Hello and welcome. My last talk was on Samuel Morse and the Telegraph. In researching this, I stumbled across something very interesting. It was Samuel Morse, Joseph Henry and Alfred Vail who developed a workable electrical telegraph system which used a single wire, not a wire for each character. What was needed was a sensible way of transmitting and receiving language across that single wire. How could the electrical pulses and the silences between them convey language over a wire? Morse and Vale devised the Morse code that was simply long or short pulses and silences. The US Congress approved funding for a 61 kilometer line between Washington DC and Baltimore and on May the 24th, 1844, the world's first telegraph message was sent. What hath God wrought? What was needed now was a way to send messages, not just between towns, but across continents and oceans. This was achieved after experimentation with insulation and the use of repeaters to maintain signal strength over long distances. The transatlantic cable that was laid was broken three times and repaired before a successful message came through in 1858. Australia was linked to the world by undersea cable in October 1872 and in 1902 the last links to connect the world were made. This was the internet of its day. From the 1850s until well into the 20th century, British cable companies owned two-thirds of the world's telegraph cables in what has been called the All Red Line. In 1896, there were 30 cable laying ships in the world, of which 24 were British. The British were able to eavesdrop on international communications. Sensitive telegraphs were encoded for secrecy. World War I began in 1914 and involved the central powers of Germany, Austria-Hungary and Turkey against Great Britain and the Commonwealth, France, Russia, Italy and Japan. In January 1917, British intelligence intercepted a diplomatic telegram between Arthur Zimmermann of the German Foreign Office to the German ambassador in Mexico. Zimmermann proposed a military alliance between Germany and Mexico. Mexico would recover Texas, Arizona and New Mexico for its support. The decryption was described as the most significant intelligence triumph for Britain during the World War I and one of the earliest occasions on which a piece of signal intelligence influenced world events. The United States declared war on Germany in April. The Zimmermann telegram was part of an effort carried out by the Germans to postpone the transportation of supplies and other war materials from the United States to the Allied powers that were at war with Germany. The main purpose of the telegram was to make the Mexican government declare war on the United States in the hopes of tying down American forces and slowing the export of American arms. The German High Command believed they would be able to defeat the British and French on the Western Front and strangle Britain with an unrestricted submarine warfare before American forces could be trained and shipped to Europe in sufficient numbers to aid the Allied powers. The Germans were encouraged by their successes on the Eastern Front into believing that they would be able to divert large numbers of troops to the Western Front in support of their goals. The Mexicans were willing to consider the alliance but declined the deal after Americans were informed of the telegram. A simple telegram which had a profound effect on world affairs. World War I ended with the signing of an armistice. Germany considered the terms of the armistice to be onerous and 21 years later the world was at war again. Thank you for watching and stay safe.